Hi again, you are here to learn how to make your first edit, aren't you? By the end of this session, we'll have gone over how to do that. Are you a happy person in general? <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy. Um... I know we got you going crazy, thinking that you maybe want to take some time away. I see you. I know you've been thinking lately, maybe if you change it, you should a little better, babe. Let's get right into it. Tap the plus button to create a project and choose the video format you prefer. The 16x9 landscape format is great for YouTube, TV and side with TikTok. The next is a 4x3 retro landscape format which was used in TV, VHS tapes and 16mm films. The 1x1 or square format and the 4x5 portrait format are both great for Instagram posts. Finally, you can use the 9x16 portrait for Instagram stories and TikTok. I'll select the landscape format for this lesson. The selection of songs is very wide. Either use one of our free songs or choose a song from iTunes. Just remember that songs from Apple Music and Spotify can't be used because the music is only available in their own apps. In other words, if you have Apple Music or Spotify, you can listen to the songs but you can't use the song to make a music video or edit. Apart from these two options, you can also choose the audio from videos in the Photos app. Wait, what happened? Don't panic if this message pops up. Permissions are just needed for video star to use your photos and videos. To use both the video and audio, tap Edit Video instead. You can also import songs from apps that will let you use their music with Video Star. To send audio from apps like the Files app, tap Share or Open in, then choose Video Star. You can adjust the song's speed and pitch before creating the project, but we'll look in more detail in a future course. What I want to show you in this lesson is how to import videos and photos, but wait! Here is a piece of advice before diving into editing. It's best to practice what I'm doing simultaneously. Don't watch all the lessons and try to do everything at the end because you will probably forget. Now, let's import our first video. As you can see, my video doesn't fit in the scene. Tap this button to fit it in, but it may distort it a little bit too much. Tap again to cycle through the fit and fill options. But remember that your video will have a frame. Feel free to change its color here. I'm going to import a horizontal video instead. Resize and move it using your fingers or the arrows. Double tap to bring it back to the original position and tap here to rotate it. Now look below. It says that the video will have a duration of 3 seconds by default. But to change this, use the start and setting buttons. I will tap on this button to import the video's audio as well. <laughs> Time. Sweet. Do you um are you a happy person in general? <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy. Um... Tap import when ready. This is a timeline. You can navigate through it by dragging the scroller or move frame by frame by tapping on either side of the timeline. Tap Add to import footage to the end of the project, so that would be right after this scene. Let's import a photo for the rest of the audio. Tapping New then Import will add the clip to the existing scene. Look, you can tap select and switch back to the other video. Tap edit to delete one of them. What I want to do now is split the photo I imported to the beat of the music. To do that, tap edit, then mold the split scene. Tap the music icon to show the beats. Video Star shows a preview of the edit after the splits, and this can be turned off by tapping this checkbox. If it was turned off and you want it back on, you can do that in the video star settings on the main screen. Make sure the preview looks ok, otherwise try again. Now import different pictures into the scenes that were created instead of having just one.
I don't need the last scene, so I'll delete it. Congrats! You've just made a simple edit. But let's step up our game and add some coloring using Reeffect. The quickest way to do this is by merging all the scenes first. Once done, choose a coloring effect in Reeffect and tap either Reeffect or Quick Effects. Here is the final result. Are you a happy person in general? <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy. Um... I know we got you going crazy, thinking that you maybe wanna take some time away. I see. You. I know you've been thinking lately, maybe if you change it, you should a little better, babe. I have shown how to import photos and videos because the aim was to make an edit, but you can make a lip sync music video as well. Tap either add or new to record a video. Now it's your time to put what you've learned into practice. I'd like you to make something very simple, just like the edit I've made in this lesson. You don't have to use the same photos and videos I did, but I will leave all the material in the content section of the lesson just in case you want to practice with that. Feel free to share your edits with the rest of the video star community on Instagram and TikTok and use our hashtag so we can find it. If you have any doubts, you can always go to the discussion group and ask questions about the course. And you can also contact our support team by tapping on the question mark button and then support. And now, would you like to get featured in Videostar and our social media? And would you like to be part of the online Videostar community? If your answer is yes, check out the following lesson. See you there!